Hey, I'm Meg, and I'm here to help you with your tech. Welcome to Tech with Meg. Hey, everyone. My name is Meg, Light Summoner and Coach on a mission to help you shine brighter. And if you're anything like me, you work online using Zoom a lot. And today in this video, I want to show you how you can create a customized Zoom room. That's right. So stay tuned so you can watch that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and do all of those things that everybody on the YouTube tells you to do so you can get more videos like this. Okay, let's hop right in. As you'll see here up on the screen, this is a screenshot of the video waiting room I have when somebody comes into Zoom for a meeting with me. So I meet with all of my clients 100% virtually and after two years of being online, I am done looking at the little gray Zoom screen that says, please wait until the host opens your room. So in an effort to be creative, I went into the Zoom options and found out that you actually can customize your Zoom waiting room. So today I wanna walk you through the steps on how to do that. There's also gonna be a template included with this video. You can grab that down in the comments. Um, if you're having trouble doing this, um, please by all means go to my website, send me um, a message and we can make sure that we troubleshoot this for you. But outside of that, this should be a pretty simple templated way to create a virtual waiting room for your clients and guests. So let's get to it. First things first is I want to take you into the settings area of Zoom. So I am in my Zoom account here. And right when we come into Zoom, what we're going to do is um, come to our account picture, go to our account. It's going to take you into the settings and then I'm going to move my video over here. We're going to come down on the left hand bar to settings. And almost instantaneously, the first thing that pops up is this waiting room area under um, the meeting setting. So there's these all of these settings in Zoom. We're just going to focus on settings, then under meeting, and then under security. So under security, there is um, a waiting room button. You'll want to make sure that your waiting room button is turned on like mine is, so it's blue. And then it'll explain to you the options. You can edit those options with this link, or you can create a customized waiting room. So that's the button you're going to want to click. Go ahead and click that. It's going to pop up this editing place to create your customized waiting room. So all you need to do is walk through these steps, but you're going to need a couple pieces of information before you get started. So that's why I'm showing this page to you first. So what we're going to need is a little bit of the text that you um, want up here. So right now there's generic text up here. I could say, um, hey, thanks for waiting. Meg will be right with you. Okay, I'm cheesy. I love smiley faces. And so I put that in there. Um, what is, what will the participants see? So will they see the default screen? You know that thing. You can also just put a logo and a description. Or you can do what I did and create a video. What they're going to ask for here is a video link. So what I suggest is that you use an app like Loom that'll allow you to record right on your desktop or right in your web browser, and we'll upload that to um, the Loom hosting site for you and we'll automatically give you a link. So that's how I created this video. Now, if you don't want the background and everything like that, you can just take the video link and go ahead and download that video and upload it to here. But I wanted to get a little bit more creative. So I'm going to show you how you can use a template to create this waiting room background. So for now, we'll go ahead and save this. And I'm going to pop over here to my Canva. So this is ultimately the template that I created for my Zoom waiting room. So that's the video. And now this page is the page that you're gonna be able to access down below um, to create. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to create this. The great news is, is that 
the template is all set up. The only thing you'll have to do is edit some of the elements. So when you are in here and you click on the actual video, or I'm sorry, you click on the full design, you'll be able to go in and edit the elements. So I put a little text box holder here where you can put your name and logo. So all you'll need to do is delete that out, come over to your uploads. Pop that in there. So I've now dropped my logo, I'm gonna resize that down. Okay, I might even make that a little smaller, but whatever. Okay, now I need to edit my stuff in here. So right here, you need to edit your name. So my name is Meg. I would put my telephone number in here. You know how to do that, but basically you can select this text or just hit backspace. And then I would edit my email right here. Okay. So now I've edited the logo and the text on the side and I have to upload my video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Loom site. Okay, so I've gone into Loom, I've recorded the video and what I can do is come in here and download this video. So I would hit download. It's gonna download the video right to here. So I'm gonna pop back over into Canva once this video is done uploading or downloading, I'm going to upload it. I'm just going to drag and drop it into Canva. And you'll see that video is uploading right here for the sake of time. I have, just like they do on television, pre-uploaded the video, obviously. So we can take this video right here and drag it over to the canvas. And then what I do is I just edit this video size down by using the corners to drag it around. Um, so that's what we got there. The other thing that I did do in um, Loom here is that I did use the options to trim some of my clips here on Loom. So if you um, messed up in the video and you wanna go ahead and edit it, Loom is a great tool because you can do that right inside of here as well. So um, make sure that you take a full advantage of the tools that you're using. Um, okay, so now I have this slide here. All I wanna do is go ahead and hit share, download, and then as a movie and you'll do all pages because it'll only be one page and then you'll hit download. Once that downloads, you'll then be able to go to your Zoom settings. And in that customized waiting room, you'll be able to upload the video with the background that you um, created in Canva up into your Zoom waiting room. And that my friend, is how you create yourself a custom designed waiting room. Now, if you're not a designer and you don't wanna tackle all of the tech stuff of designing, at least customize it a little bit. Think about putting your logo and a description in there. Think about just using a video off Loom. How great would it be if your clients no longer saw the gray spinning uh, screen, but in instead saw just a plain video. Um, if you're not sure, at least consider giving it a try or try it with a peer or a friend. If you found this video useful, please like it, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, share it with a friend. And with that, my friends, I hope you are finding your way through these very loud, crowded, and busy internet streets. I hope you continue to unleash your greatness into the world and don't forget to be gentle with yourself as you go along your way. I'll see you back here real soon.